Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are down with Pohinger, Ireland in County Wexford. We were invited down to their press day and we got to check out the machinery that they had available on the day we got to drive some of them and it was a great day. But to today's video is part two which focuses on the tillage equipment they had on offer on the day. And if you haven't already checked out part one, it should appear there in the left hand corner or the right hand corner. I can't remember, but a little tab will appear there if you want to check out part one, which is on the grass equipment. But today's video, part two, is all on the tillage equipment. So sit back, relax and enjoy. An air seeder. What's a sensor or a backing camera? It's some sort of a sensor now for something. Yeah. Pre emergence, pre emergence markers. What do you mean? If you want to spray a pre emergence spray, you see that'll do your tram lines. All oh, right. And mark out the tram lines when you're tram lining. Yeah. So you know where to drive so the crop won't be up. Oh right. Oh I get you. Oh so oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah drop them down. Yeah. So and they'll mark out your tram lines as you go yeah. uh, apart from the ridge for makers. The, for the pre emergence spray. Yeah. And then that's a, a grass seeder. Grass seeder with a disc camera. Yeah. That'd be a handy job that. Mm. That's an, another one. Yeah, yeah, a power hara. And then a, a big power heart. Oh, it it? Has to be six meters or more even. Well, six is there, two trees. Yeah. Mm. A good donkey in front of that. Yeah, take a lot of power to run that. What is that, five for us? Yeah. That's the grass one track right now. That one. Yeah. That's a six meter disc car. Yeah, nice job. Yeah. 36.90 would pull that one up. 64.99 would anyways. Oh, My tires are a bit soft. Oh, well, that's what to keep your brown from your brown, brown, patches. Yeah. A he at seventy. It's a big Ford. And John had one of them at seventy. Yeah, that was the first Italian one, was a. Mm. Oh, series show. Yeah. The Fent, eight to eight. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for a plow. Trailed. The fair rams enough. A variable wet too. Run the hydraulic springs. Hydraulic dampers. Uh, dampers. So now everyone, we are in a Dites tractor and I'm trying to figure out how to drive. I have absolutely no idea how this works. Um that button? That park brake is on now. Uh, no, it. that's it. Aha! Right, go on. Forward. Yeah. Do we go, go forward? It's a very old tractor. Ah, right. No, you're right. Yeah. Now we're in business. It's a learning curve all this, trying to figure out. No, you're in the forward here now. Backwards. 
So we are plowing away now in a dites. I should really look at these things before. It's a new dites tractor and something I've never actually driven. This is like a double whammy for me. New tractor, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. It's a 6215. 6215 Dites Agrotron is it? Agrotron, yeah. Agrotron. And we're plowing with a five for a Nova plow. So you can see it there. Some we've never used. We've actually never owned a Pottinger machine, have we? No. So we've never actually owned one. So it is a new experience for us. It's actually doing quite a good job there. It's a lovely plow. Yeah. You run around a, a little bit quicker. It's more of a quicker. I think it's... This is a very old uh, tractor, I think the back fur is clogged. It is, you're dragging it in. Dragging straw there. Drop yeah. it again. Drop it right on the straw. Should go through. And it yep. does. Perfect. And it does. You know what, you nearly think you've done this before. Yeah. Wouldn't you just? That's actually plowing very sweet, so it is. Have a ah, well. Thanks for that. Yeah. Have a, it's, it's well set up there now. So this plow has the, you can see the wheel on it there for controlling the gear, the, the depth at the back first. I, I can actually control all the settings on this plow from inside the cab. We have a hydraulic top link. There's the depth control is hydraulically. Varial weight is done on the hydraulics. And these plows don't have a traditional cross shaft. It's on, I'll have to just double check with them with, with my man, but um, it, it's done differently. And it's 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 plow, it's plowing up here as well there now, and it's on, it's not on springs, it's on dampeners, dampers isn't it? Dampers, dampers. Hydraulic dampers. Hydraulic dampers. Hydraulic dampers. Uh, so I don't know what that'd be like. What's it like when it hits a stone? Just it's it's a humidator. It always goes back into the humidator. Yeah, and it and just the little cylinders. For yeah, it. and it just springs up and comes it's down it's again. More efficient than your spring. Yeah. Yeah. For plowing there, five and a half kilometers an hour. And it's set that it's at a maximum of 10 kilometers an hour. It won't go any faster than that at the minute. The car tractor has a, a camera on it, so that's actually quite cool. You don't really need to look behind you. So you won't get a creak in your neck? No, you won't get a creak in your neck. It's a great job. No, that, that's plowing fierce. Well, I'm well happy. That, that plow is well set up. That plow has a lot of extras. It has boards on it that will cover a 710 wheel. Isn't it? Yeah, up to a 710. Up to a 710 uh, wheel of a tractor. There's no need to be changing your tractor wheels when you're going plowing. Yeah. Um, it has trash boards on it, it has deep skimmers on it. It, it's, it has nearly all the extras on it and it, it's plowing fierce well there. Plowing fierce well. So we're just coming to the we'll end, see, end we'll of the run. We'll see how well Farmer Phil works now. So, end of the run. There you go. Get back the throttle. The tractor stops when you let back the throttle. And then it is on, so there, this tractor has, well, I got, oh yeah, I got to throttle, this is, have to remember to put my foot on the throttle, it's like driving the teleporter, in some ways. So then it's on the lever here, folds in, turns over, constant. And then it's memorized then to push it back out to where it needs to be. Which is quite cool. In other I'm, words, it's a smart plow. It's a smart plow, yeah, it has a memory. Oh, yeah, shit. I'm really on my depth in these, these tractors. There's actually no masses in the field, so it's going to be but a see, bit of a learning this is, experience this for the whole This is life without masses. Yeah, strange. Anyways. I get down now and I do a bit of walk along the plow and you plow on. Yeah, you can, yeah. And then I let you plow and I fly the drone. All right. Yeah.
So, we're just after, did a good few runs there now. What's the verdict? Oh, super awful. Yeah. Super. A little bit overkill on the trash boards, but... Yeah, it was a trash board. Apart from that, just either, either or. Yeah, it was just... They were, my boat. Yeah, they had them put on that, just to yeah. show you all the extras, but... Apart from that, yeah. fabulous bit of kit. Yeah, it, it, whoever set it up did a fantastic job on it. It was plowing perfect. Absolutely perfect. Still a little bit tight on the draft at the start, but yeah. other than that, well, yeah, a, look, it was a little bit of a, <laughs> a steep learning curve just to learn how to use. But we got to understand, and well, me anyways, that he, Father Phil did a great job. I, I, to, you know, get a crash the course. came out with the ground on him. <laughs> but um, I was just looking at the po the, the the points. It's part of the uh, the share. Yeah. yeah. They're probably a, a very hard, hard, very hard wearing. You can just yeah. look at it. It's like a serious. It, no. Honest, Fine job. Honestly, Fine now job, it's yeah. it is a, a serious plow. Now I've never seen one before. There's no cross shaft. I, I, it's a different way of doing it now, but it, it, it was a great job. Now I'm well happy with it. It works. Just, it's, it's either either or. Yeah. Either yeah, this. Yeah. Or, or that. that. It was a bit too much, and it was catching a bit well, of trash it's, it's, there. That's but, only just because it's yeah. come with both. But anyways, great job. We go leave it back and we may sanitize our hands if I can get that open. Do open that. This is why the things with COVID, everything is masked when we're around the people being shown what to do and then sanitize then afterwards. What is it? So yeah. This is dries of COVID, but anyways. It's what we have to live with now yeah. Well that plow is well happy and that tractor I'd happily spend a day in that. That's a dice. I've never driven dice before, but I definitely. Oh, do I hear a convert? Do I oh, hear no. a convert? I'm a massive man. I'll always be red, but no, it was a great job. No, serious, serious job. Anyways, we we'll leave it back into the yard for them, and um, we we'll go see what we'll use next. And yeah, no, it's some bit of kit now. Some he, bit of kit. He's grinning.
It's a tidy enough box still there. What is yeah, it's what's well for the weight, it's it's close to the back yeah. of the tractor. It, there's no real weight overhang on it or anything. No, not major, no. And it's sitting right so, on top of the box or it's sitting right on top of the roller. Yeah. It's for all the weight really is, isn't it? Yeah. So what then these arms there for putting in your wheel markers for your tram lines for pre emergence spray. Pre emergence spray, yep. Yeah. That's what they're for. They're disc, they're disc culture, so the, the discs are angled, the seed drops in between them. Yeah. And then the roller then presses it in. It's directly up behind the, the roll. Yeah. So then that roller just presses the seed, and then the after hair just, just drags, it drags a little clay. bit of clay back on top of them. Yeah. Very straightforward machine. This is the air seeder then. Yeah, it's just the same as the other one, I mean, just the same by ear. Yeah. I prefer them, better job. Why? Just is. We're not depending on the flow of seed if it's, oh, it's being powered in power. Yeah, it's, it's not like when, when you're, you you stop, you have to go back and start again. That, or no, no, that'd be the same because that works on a wheel letting it in, isn't it? Yeah, same thing, this is delay. Yeah. Small delay, they're close spaces. Yeah. Be so on a pretty take with that. Mm. Oh, nice job. Yeah. Nice job. Same then the, the hopper's over the, the weight is over the roller so it's yeah. nice and tidy to the back of the tractor. Keeps it tight. Yeah. So we're gonna give this yoke a go next. We've never we have we ever had one like this? A stubby mm, called Vehar, no. Not a ripper like that, no, a single leg, no. It'll be interesting to see how, how it does. Control the depth of it with the ram on it. I mean, that's the same basics as every yeah. other machine. Is your back roller and your top link, and just see how it how it. Well, see it see how it works now. I I don't think I've ever seen one working before. So, give it a rip next. Hold it back. Yeah, up there. So we're just in a case Puma uh, one six five, and we're in the using the Pottinger. Oh, I should really check these things before I get in. We're using the Pottinger stubble, stubble cut of air, or that's what we call it's it. The it's the legs. With the the you would have seen in the previous bit. That's what we're using at the minute, and it's doing some job. We're we're landing in there at about oh, 15 centimeters. We let yeah. down some more. We're doing. What's where's the speed? Okay, I can't see. No five. Just o just over five and a half kilometers. What lay down another bit or? Yeah, it's a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper though. Yeah, that's that's fine. Twenty centimeters. We're at twenty centimeters there, and it's doing some job ripping it now. This is gives it a great lift. Yeah, it is. It's doing some job on it. No. Fairly digging into it now. So, Father Phil is driving now, and we're just testing it out on the plow ground. So the plow ground is fresh enough, so it is a, li a little bit. I think you wouldn't be the right word, but. It's not over dry, but it's doing it's not it. Bad. It's not bad. No, it's it's, bad. it's doing a, a nice job there, leveling it, leveling it out. So this is only going in at about five centimeters deep, and it's it's doing quite quite a nice job now, leaving it nice and level. We'll have a look when we get to the other end. We'll have a look at what was done on the stubble, and we'll have a look at what we've done on the plow ground, and we'll hand sanitize and leave the tractor back in. But no, it's it's doing quite a nice job there now. What do you think about? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It, it, it's, it's what it's, we're not used to using that type of cutter. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, good. 
probably a little bit slower than the disc car, but it gives the ground, especially on well, the it's mini tail. Like it's good for up the ground, yeah. loose the ground. Like you might probably, go. probably great for headlands and headlands, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, headlands and stuff like that. It'll give it a great, a great rip yeah. up and rip off and all together. Oh, it is. Not much addition. Uh, it wouldn't be really for plowed ground now. But yeah. It's for, for, for it was just to see what it'd be like on a. I've seen that you didn't want to. You didn't want to. Um, yeah. An option. Yeah. Loosen up the land. Loosen up. Give it a little bit of a lift. Yeah. Well, it's quite nice now. Just run away with me, darling. So, the good hardware and tip on them. Oh yeah, the texture hardware. The yeah, you can see it there. Extra bits on them to wear them out harder. Yeah. You can drop them after harder discs. Ah yes, there's a board to set. Yeah. And even something that was just pointed out to us that one of the one of the, the pin has the tool on the end of it for changing your leveling boards on the sides and that's one of the things in there it is it's a pottinger synchro 3030 well one of the things is pointed out there's a lot of the pottinger stuff has the tools for adjusting it nearly built into the machine so to speak but anyways, i just want to have a look at the job that was done just to see whether you'd, you'd be we're going out with the ford there now What do you think? Yeah, yeah, you could be going in there. You're going straight in there after that. I think it's because it's just freshly yeah. plowed, but you're going in there, it's not, you're near enough there for a seed bed now. Yeah. How about the stubble? The stubble is just a different. It's, it's different, but you, you'd still be fit to go straight in, wouldn't you? Or near enough. Oh, you would, yeah. Oh, you, well, you wouldn't have to plow now. You wouldn't be plowing. Oh, there. no, you wouldn't be plowing, but it'd be good enough for a mini tail job, would it? Oh, yeah. I'd say it'd be ideal for to get the uh, headlands and stuff loosened up for Yeah. Tail. Be, oh, it'd be a great job, you could disc the middle and, and yeah. lift up the headlands to reduce the compaction. So you can see that was where we weren't going too deep, but we had it set up right when we come back up 20 centimetres in. Yeah, give it a bit loosen. Yeah. Loosen it up there. Like it's, it up. 
you can see well, you can kick you can kick up the dirt there like oh yeah that got a, that got a day is drying now and you'll be flying you'll be flying you'll be sewing away anyways there's a ford coming down now the grassman's big ford so i'd say i'd pop up the drone and we'll catch this man doing a few runs You get through some amount of work with that plow. Very same as the other one with the extra trash boards and everything on it. Yep. a lot of rams on it so what it falls over the wheel kicks out brings it to the side leaves it on the land the leaves it on, on, the land. on the land tractor i presume would run in the fall yeah maybe not maybe not some of them don't
So anyways, we're on our way home now after having a great day out with Pottinger. Big thanks to Pottinger for inviting me down. It was it was great. A great time and it was great to be able to use machinery. Yep. So it was. But yeah, so what's your thoughts on the day? Oh, it was a great day. It was a great day. It was a great day. Uh, good tillage machinery. So on the tillage equipment then, what? Tillage what equipment. Tillage, uh, sure. That, that plow was a great bit of kit. Yeah. Plow was very well. Whoever set it up did a cracking yeah, job. Yeah, of he, well, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, did a cracking job of uh, ploughed fierce, fierce work. Yeah, you nearly wouldn't. Very little harrowing needed afterwards. Yeah, though. oh, it's just nice great. land. Good. It's great, great land in that it, down there. Nearest stone in that in the in the yeah. tillage end of it. So there wasn't. Yeah. Oh, it was a good day. Uh, look, at all the tillage equipment well made, and there's a bit of thought behind it. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and yeah, sure, look at. Stumble cultivator was some job. It's a good job, good job for the loose ground. It was, um, no, it was a good day, interesting. Great to get a day away with the way things are at the moment with COVID. It's um, only a handful of people there. <coughs> Used to sanitise every time. And it was well done and well, well, done. well organised, and everyone kept the distance. And you, you, you definitely say everything was tip top. Yeah. Tip top in them regards. So just to finish the video, to summarise, it was a great day, well set up, great machinery, it was a great day out, we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. We're going to leave it at that for today's video, even though it's two parts and I love editing like this and it's very complicated to think about it when you're not, it's just complicated to think about. Anyways, um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of the machinery you've seen or you want to find out more, there'll be links in the description down below, there'll be phone numbers, emails. There'll be stuff in the description down below where you can get in contact with some of the team from Pottinger, Ireland and they'll answer any questions you have, any queries, anything like that at all. Get in contact with the lads down below. And that is it from us. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Also a heap of other stuff in the description. I like to fill out the description with lots of old stuff. That is it from us. Good luck. Who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right. Mama told me before you leave, if there's only one thing you remember from me, child, when you're out on your own, a million miles. Compass was wrong, and I'm still on my.